Shelton, the Fire and Life Safety Educator with Greensboro Fire Department. I'm Paul Bull with the Guilford County Fire Marshal's Office. Today we're here to teach you some tips and tricks on frying your bird this Thanksgiving season. But first, make sure you grab that fire extinguisher because you might need it and you want to have it handy. So now we're going to pitch it to Jeff Pritchett. Hi, I'm Jeff Pritchett, Assistant Fire Marshal with Greensboro Fire Department. Here today to talk about some uh, turkey frying safety tips for the upcoming uh, Thanksgiving season. Uh, one thing that we want to emphasize is to follow the manufacturer's recommendations and not deviate from those. And also, do this operation outside, not in your garage. You want it to be away from any combustible construction and not do it on a combustible deck. And you don't want to have it in a high traffic area where children and pets may be coming through that can cause some burn injuries. You want to have your oil in the pot no higher than what the manufacturer recommends for the, the pound weight for the turkey. And so what we're going to do is light this flame for the burner and then we'll place the uh, oil on top. So once you have this burner lit, you want to you make sure that you don't leave this operation unattended. That's usually when we have uh, accidents happen. So Jeff, while we're waiting on the oil to heat up, let's go over a few safety tips. Okay. So some families have really, you know, there's a lot of members of the family. They need a really big bird. Is there some kind of a guide on what size bird we should be cooking in these cookers? D, that should be in the manufacturer's recommendations for that unit itself. However, if it's not, you can take that bird once it's completely thawed out and fill that pot with water and submerge that bird in the water and watch how far that level comes up. And, and that will be your guide as to how far, once you pull it back down, that'll be your guide as how far you want to put that oil in the pot. Okay. So Jeff, out of curiosity, if somebody runs out of time and didn't completely thaw their turkeys, is it still okay to go ahead and continue with that operation? No, you wouldn't want to have any kind of, uh, of ice. You want to have that thing completely thawed out because what happens when that ice touches that, any, or any moisture touches that, that oil, we all know what happens when that, when, that, when that occurs. So that's going to be a violent reaction that we don't want to have that can cause burns too. So kids, pets, and especially our pets, because you know, their noses are working. They smell we're cooking turkey. What do you think is a great, you know, a great area that we should not have the kids and the, and the pets around? You just don't want to place this in a high traffic area. If you've got people coming in to your home to, to visit for the holidays or for this meal that you're preparing, you don't want this unit or this process going on where the people are coming into the home or are going to be out playing. So you want to have, have that in a clear area. Okay. You know, I think I remember seeing some people they're doing this in the garage or even outside the garage, just outside the garage door. That cannot be a good idea. It's, it's definitely not. And, and you know, you can have something happen obviously and then she gets involved with the house and then you just want to be outside away from at least 10 feet from any combustible construction. And even on a, on a wooden deck, this is not where you want to, you want to perform this, this process. So. Right, right. Okay, so now we've got our oil to 350 degrees is where, is where we want it. And before we put this bird in the hot oil, one and very important thing you want to do is turn the fuel off. So if we had any kind of spill, the fuel is off, or, or the flame, the open flame is, is gone. So we're going to turn that fuel off. Our flame will go out. And then we're just going to slowly put this turkey in. You want to have no loose clothing on. No exposed skin. You do get some splatter a little bit. Just lower it in just nice and slow. Don't, don't plunge it because that's when problems start to happen. You want your turkey thawed completely out. You want it dry. If you have any kind of moisture on the turkey, it's the more violent the reaction is going to be once you get it down in this hot oil. If it begins to splatter, and you're able to go ahead and pull the turkey back out and then set it down. Um, that's why you want to be covered up. You want to have some gloves on your hands. You want to have something across your arms uh, because lowering it down, if you were to get, it's almost like frying bacon. You know, if you had grease touch exposed skin, you may be more prone to drop this and then you've got more problems. So 
But we're just going to continue to lower this down nice and slow. And once we get to the bottom, we will make sure everything's good. And then we'll restart this flame. Concluded cooking the turkey, we, we usually do about three to four minutes per pound. We went about three and a half. So what we'll do before we pull the turkey out, we want to shut the fuel off. Again, we don't want any oil or mishap coming in contact with an open flame. And we're just going to do what we did before, slowly just pull this bird out. There's going to be quite a bit of grease or oil that's inside the bird. Just kind of let all of that drain out the bottom. We'll let that sit there for just a second or two. Again, we've got the fuel shut off. Just remember it's, it's extremely hot at this point. Any part of this bird and this metal stand. Once we get some of that oil to quit draining, then we'll bring it over and set it down. When we, when we finish setting this bird down, we're gonna cover this oil up with the lid that came with it. Take this oil off the stand and put it to the side so it's not in the way and nobody can come in contact with it, knock it over. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you got some good tips and you'll have a very safe Thanksgiving this year. We're about to cut into this bird. So, from the Greensboro Fire Department. The Guilford County Fire Marshal's Office. Have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. You ready to cut? Let's okay. cut. This is gonna be so good, y'all.